Light cut off power in the coal. No light. Look at this. So, listen, sometimes it drop heavy, you know, like a, a, a shower, you know. <laughs> so that's like a sealer. Yeah. Walk one dreamers, thanks for checking into the positivity in where everything is copacetic because God is in it. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. By checking in on this video, you have automatically been given the silver package. But please, do upgrade to gold by subscribing to this channel or all the way up up top to platinum by not only subscribing but liking this video checking in with a comment below and sharing 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 with your friends i'm your hostess with the mostest daniel robdon and guys on my way from gymnastics training with Danielle. say hello Denise. hi and I'm here thinking, you know, just thinking out of the blue. You know, you get a little walk and you do your little reflection. Well, this is one of those moments. And what has been going through my mind is that, you know, sometimes we find ourselves praying for some things like, God, please come true for me with this. Like, we even ask people to join us in prayer as we believe God to come true with it. And you might, let me stop a bit. You might come up on a lot of challenges in getting that particular thing, and you keep praying because you're saying, "God, I am trusting you." Nonetheless, that happened to us when. No, come, come, come. That happened to us when we were trying to get the property that we are currently in. Like, if you were watching the moving video, um, like house hunting video, by the way, before moving, we had a lot of challenges. Hold on, Danny, stop. We had a lot of challenges trying to find a place. It, it was crazy. Even when we viewed the few that we did, like they didn't call us back because we weren't considered the best because other persons were given privilege over us and we got a bit overwhelmed and we were almost at the point of settling listen our big station and all kind of something you know <laughs> just because i was like i need to wait for the property that was promised the property that me see and i and no say i eat this gonna say a female one all right guys it was too noisy so i decided to take a little bit more of the walk and then stop by i'm at Danisi's school so i was saying we were really praying for this house that we're currently in and everything was a delay it just wasn't going through it was one thing after the other and we were getting a bit overwhelmed in the whole waiting process because we needed to leave from where we were because the landlord tell will lie set him one sell the property when i get them one get you out under style a whole lot of things then we finally got the property we got the property when we came into the property we couldn't access the internet now we need the internet for daily streaming and so we made sure that from we see the property we apply for school for the kids we had males going to the property, even the confirmation males that the kids got into school and everything. Um, like internet sorted out, everything transferring over there, everything, meals, everything set to over there. So when we got in now thinking that we'd have the internet, because of course we'd have done that already. You don't know what say the internet cuckoo wasn't cuckoo in at all. <laughs> so the internet name is cuckoo, was cuckoo. And they just weren't cuckooing. So we asked them to come in with a technician. The technician would have come until the way down in the week. So we went to get a new internet provider, tidy something properly. 
we get we, we applied for a new internet provider to come in and they did come in It's working now? No, not yet. I'm just gonna put your new socket on in there. And sort out the internet and everything, and we got the internet. But before the persons come for come sort out the internet, the night when we came in with our boxes, we had some on the kitchen counter. And guys, you don't know, so the morning when we wake up, <laughs> pure water in the box. This is so serious. Guys, comment below if you have this problem with your boiler. Um, this is a brand new boiler, I know. But look at all that water. Look at all that. Look at that. It's dripping. <laughs> what is this now? <laughs> Empty it because this seems like it was dripping all night. I don't know. It's on the regular setting. I don't know if you can see it. Hot water, preheat on. And it's on the E. All I did was to turn it on. Hey, I don't know. A pure water in the box. Like everything in the box wet up. It was so gooey and mucky and nasty and all kind of things so the internet was one issue the boiler was what was leaking caused the whole mess in there the next thing is that we had a lovely oven brand new you know and the oven now work either light <laughs> Right, so we had the old oven now that they decided to come and change out after about six months. They gave us a, like a standard oven. Which was um, a downgrade to what we had initially. Come, we really love the oven we would have before. The light cut off, pan. We imagine we came in the winter, you know. <laughs> light cut off, pan. We in the cold, no light, no nothing. I was checking the, the, the we call that the breaker. Everything was fine, but the light, I say, it's off. So guys, this was the dilemma. So there was no light, no gas. And so I sent a message to Hon because he was at work, and he said, check the breaker. I checked the breaker, but there was no no um abnormalities in the switches <laughs> let's put it that way so i now decide to all right um let's call the place and when he called it they told us what to press and when i look at it it said off i don't know if you won't be seeing it clearly for some reason not showing so they ended up now giving us instructions and listen thank god <laughs> bam <laughs> there was light the light came on and then after the light came on they gave us um a kind of code thingy to um put in to have the meter registered so we can um start doing the pay as you go thingy and even with that guys there was another problem but we're not going to get into that right now the fact of the matter is that we got light and it was sorted for the most part it's showing now but yeah that's it <laughs> Yes. It says 996. Yeah. So when I talk about, I have to call in again to get a number. Only to find out that we had a pay as you go meter and the money never a kick on the meter anymore because now we're settled and we never know that we think say we have a, you know, month to month. Uh, Thing, we call it credit meter then guys as if that wasn't enough Mom, can I have the, the antenna just don't go down the water the antenna from the um was over the kids room the antenna decided to drop down not once but three times and every time it dropped down it kept licking on the kids window as though it out for break
it was just one thing. I had to tell him, listen, just take it down all together. And then now, the bathroom start to leak. <laughs> the bathroom start to leak. Then he's saying part of the, the floor was leaking down. Come and tell them. What was happening? The, the, the bathroom sometimes sometimes we use the shower and sometimes it goes down onto the floor and then it leaks 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 down to the bar or um to, it leaks downstairs and and goes right on top of the steer. Right. So, listen, sometimes it drop heavy, you know, like a, a, a shower, you know. <laughs> Guys, like it was just one thing after the other. And, you know, the light cutting off, the oven not working, no internet, the bathroom leaking, the boiler leaking, the antenna out for broke the people in window. Like all of these things that were happening one after the next, it was easy for us to start complaining because I found myself saying, like, what's going on with this space? It's like one thing after the other. But then I had to realize that here, what? Daniel, I remember I said this is the property that you prayed so hard for. Something the house was leaking before we even came here. Right. That's what the power committee told us. That's what the what? Power committee. <laughs> anyway, the house was going through its thing. But I had to catch up on myself and say, Daniel, this is the place that you prayed for. And you know, for you you might have prayed for something and god would have given it to you you see that thing that god gave you let us be careful not to start complaining and becoming ungrateful when he gives it to us and things start happening let us see how we can push through it make whatever adjustments need to be made and that kind of thing we had the people come in to fix the bathroom That's like a sealer. Yeah, so you see the, the yellowy brown colour? Yeah. It makes sure that, that don't come back through. Okay. But I'm not going to touch a wall because I've not got the colour for that. Where this is white, it's a bit easier and blends in. Mm. See this bit here, I don't want to get too close to that, otherwise you have a white mark here. Oh. When, I'm going to take a picture of this. Just Right? We had them come in, just remove the antenna altogether. They came in and changed the oven. Like, the technician come in, start out the internet. The boiler, them fix it. Me even right now, me have one leaking pipe. <laughs> the, the pipe, every time I turn on the pipe in the, the kitchen. Mom, the pipe. Uh, this, it's okay. The, the, right now, the pipe in the kitchen, like it just a leak, a spring water so when you turn it on. And I refuse to complain. And so, whatever you're going through, whatever you've asked God for and he has granted to you, granted it to you, Hold on to it and say, God, I thank you for it. And even when the problem comes, say, God, you have given me this thing. And know that this problem presents itself. I'm going to trust you to take care of it. And when you trust him, you'll come back and testify. Say, man, listen, just like how we learned from my calamities, you will be able to encourage somebody in their situation too. Anyway, may I come head home now? Like, me need to get to home now. Have for yourselves. A blessed, tablet day. Take heed to the encouragement today. No matter how it comes, um, just be grateful. And once you make sure that you know you're trusting God, you're putting Him in your process and everything. I 
absolutely everything did i say everything absolutely everything will be you can support the Rob Dunn's brand today by visiting our website reasonwithrobdunn.com shop merchandise and check out the variety of items we have just for you and the family positivity your support for quality happy shopping